the not know is what we call an awareness concept which helps us, which helps us gain insight into the nature of our dynamics. Now, the first example is say you call someone but they don't call you back for three days. Your mind is going to be spinning out of control, drawing all different types of conclusions. Some of the things that you may think is, are they not speaking, in, speaking to me anymore because I did something? Did they get hurt? Uh, are they still alive? Your mind is going to be drawing all these conclusions based on the incomplete information. And specifically, the incomplete information is, why did they not call me back? And why has it been three days? Moving on to the next example is say someone tells you that they are upset, but they won't tell you why. Your mind is going to go into a million different reasons about why it is that they are upset and you are going to think, am I the cause? Did I do something really hurtful and I didn't know? Is it a possibility that they're going to sever ties in our friendship? So your mind is going to be thinking about all of these different conclusions and oftentimes the conclusions we draw about our particular viewpoints and situations will be irrational. And they are irrational for the very fact that we don't have all the facts. To, so to assume something is absolutely true, but not having all of the facts to a great degree is, an, is irrational. Moving on to example three, and this is something that hits home for me, is the idea of losing your wallet. The first thing you should do when you lose your wallet is check all of the places that you thought it was last or you thought that, or you think it might be. Now, if, say, you're at your apartment, then that might mean checking the couch, checking somewhere in the kitchen, checking the bathroom, checking your backpack, wherever. But going through all of those places so that you can gather more information before you actually come to the viewpoint or the conclusion, oh, I lost my wallet. Now, when you, uh, when you lose your wallet and that initial thought strikes your mind, you're going to be thinking all kinds of things. Does somebody have my wallet? Is somebody spending my money? Is uh, identity theft a possible scenario or threat that I need to worry about? And so your mind will not only entertain these conclusions, it will actually begin to accept these irrational conclusions and your mind will take you on a journey or like a roller coaster of emotion which can be very negative because you have, you have accepted a so-called fantasy rather than dissecting a true reality. So let's talk about a particular resolution. A resolution to this type of situation would basically be simply to gather all the facts. Gather as many facts as possible then draw your conclusion. So, in the instance of example one, for example, calling someone, you might try contacting them through a different medium. Social networking, for example. Instagram, Facebook. Maybe it is the case that their phone broke. Maybe they don't have their phone with them. Maybe they can't respond because they're busy. Who knows what's going on? But the important thing is that you try to gather more facts. You can gather more facts by taking the initiative to contact them through a different medium. Or take, for example, three, losing your wallet. Again, checking all of the places that you've been last. Now, if you've checked all the places that you've been last and you still can't find your wallet, then you draw a new conclusion about the next step. And that next step would be canceling the credit cards, making the calls, doing what you have to, getting another wallet, going over to DMV, whatever it is that you need to do. But the important thing is that once you have those new facts, you will then draw a new conclusion based on new facts. So again, to summarize this, the concept of the not know is the idea of drawing a conclusion based on a set of incomplete facts. Now, it is the very nature of the mind that when you feed it, a, feed it a question, it will automatically come up with an answer, regardless of, its, of it being true. Now, to say that again, when you feed the mind a question, it will automatically come up with an answer, regardless if it's true.
thank you.